Jim. Jim. Good evening, everybody. Good Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Allen. Allen. And welcome to the State Palace Theater, great venue here in New Orleans for tonight's main event. Ten rounds in the heavyweight division. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Frost. And his opponent across the ring by Will Brooklyn. Iron Mark. Slated in the books tonight. Here's the first. Isaac Frost putting a smile on his corner man's face right there and frustrating his opponent with that jab. Well, we're just underway here and already sense the type of fight we're going to have. These are two guys that have flat out said it. They have come to get the other man. And they're not liars. Fires right back at him. Teddy, the expectation in a matchup like this, a power puncher versus power puncher, is that the fight's not going to last long. But what if it does? Then what? The guy with less power is going to win because he's a guy that has a reserve, a reserve in a place that he's ready to go to in case the power is not there. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Halfway through round number one. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Great right was lined up, but he missed. Well timed by Mike Tyson. He took a step back, landed the counter punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Good exchange, he fires back. Back at him with a left hand. Clean shot with the right. Smart boxing here. Good effective work with the counter punch by Mike Tyson. Isaac Cross landing a left hand again here. The big, burly, dangerous Isaac Frost with a strong combination. Scores up top with a left. Tyson's hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? So they close out that round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, I know you watch uh, very closely how these trainers go about their business. You were under the tutelage of one of the true legends of the game, the great Customata. Yeah, I mean, I was fortunate. Quite honestly, those opportunities, situations, probably don't exist anymore because we've lost a lot of those, you know, really great trainers and managers that boxing was their whole life. I spent seven years with Customato, and I learned the nuts and bolts from a physical, technical point of view of what's important to give to a fighter, but the psychological part, to understand the pressures that a fighter is under, the fears that a fighter deals with. And if you don't understand that, all the other things don't mean anything, because you have to understand how a fighter is feeling to understand why he's behaving or not behaving a certain way. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. Iron Mike Tyson lands a big right hand. Isaac Frost on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. Punches and bunches, combination up top. Isaac Frost done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Not guarding his body. That's a clean shot, able to. And yet another big shot comes in. Of course, Mike Tyson has a history with being down, but not necessarily out. Will this be like the first knockdown against Buster Douglas or the final one? Down he goes, now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on, kill a little time. Halfway through round number two. Good combination by Isaac Frost right there. The jab and then the straight hand. Nice work to the midsection with the left. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Mike Tyson. Frost left, landing well. 
now you're seeing stamina right here. How can they possibly keep up this pace minutes ago in this round, and they have been all out? I know how I feel, Joe, myself. I mean, I feel like I've been on a roller coaster, except I'm not sitting, I'm standing. This is where his opponent could use a construction hard hat. If Isaac Frost is throwing a right hand like that, it could be lights out. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. End of that round, and the knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, the fighter who was floored, how do you treat him? Do you, go, do you go soft on him when he comes back, or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach it? You have to know your fighter. You have to know the temperament of your fighter. Some guys, you know, they just kind of crawl up into a ball, and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them. Other guys, they react well to that. So you got to know what he reacts to, first of all. And the most important thing, you have to get information. Why did he get dropped? You had your right hand down, you got hit the hook. Get your right hand up. You'll be okay. Nice block by Mike Tyson. Tyson's just a completely different fighter now. I mean, he was stunned earlier in this fight. And since then, there's just more of a defensive disposition to him. Yeah, and the important thing right now is that sooner or later, and I think it's going to be sooner, his opponent's going to see the same thing. And he's not going to stay away. He's going to get more aggressive. Isaac Frost almost looking foolish that time he missed so bad. Tyson's rocked by that punch. How about that four-punch combination? Big shot there. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. One, two, three, four, five. Mike Tyson rises up after going down here today. Turn the sender with the left hand. Frost doing well here with that two punch combination. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. His opponent dazed and stunned. Isaac Frost lands a damaging blow to the head. Frost at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Wow! Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. Isaac Frost's corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, you go out this next round and you kill some time. Tie him up a little bit right from the beginning. Don't worry about losing the early part of the fight or the early part of the round. Just get yourself back together. Well, Teddy, you get in a spot like this, and everybody has their eyes on the fighter who was just knocked down in the last round. What do you look for? What tells you right away that you know what his status is? Well, it's two things. The easiest one is the legs, Joe. I want to see if they're steady, if they're firm, if he's okay. But the next thing is his personality, believe it or not. It's kind of like when you go out to a bar with someone, they have a few drinks, and all of a sudden they're a different person. You know they're drunk. Well, I want to see whether or not my fight is drunk. If he starts rushing at the guy, starts acting in a way that he's never acted before, I know it's time to pull the plug. Committing to the body work with the double jab. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. He scored well after being hit himself. an uppercut that really does damage there. Isaac Frost, and bang, and away he goes. Can you believe this? Isaac Frost down again. One, two, three, four, five. 
Cross back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. That was a fine block by Mike Tyson. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Frost showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Ten clicks of the talk. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. And the round comes to an end. We did have a knockdown in that round. Now, Teddy, if you're in the corner where your man was down on the floor, what are you telling him? Well, the first thing I do is I sit him down, I get water on the back of his neck. You know, I bring him to his senses, I make sure that he's clear and everything. And then I tell him why he got his backside put on that canvas so he can correct it. And he doesn't go out there and get caught again with the same punch. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Isaac Frost doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches and punches, the combination lands. Halfway into round number five here. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Left to the body. Another thudding shot by Isaac Frost, this time the left hand. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Not able to land the uppercut. Now he's putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. When a big man can throw a sharp right hand, watch out. Isaac Frost just did that. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Frost's corner knows the situation here. Yes, we're up in a close fight, but anything can happen that can turn things around and go against us. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. up along the belt line blocks that one Tyson's punch didn't come close now that is sharp accurate punching the three punch combo by Mike Tyson blocks that punch He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old timers used to say when you're calm in there, when you're controlling there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Isaac Frost's opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. Halfway through round six. Isaac Frost got that catch me if you can kind of attitude. He's almost daring his opponent at this point to try to land a headshot, but his movement's been so good, his defense is just supreme. Yeah, it is. He's moving from the waist. He's slipping the straight shots. He's weaving the hooks. He's doing a real magical job in there. But his opponent is making no adjustments at all. Oh, what a power punch he was able to land there. Joe, that's what you call setting up a trap. Not a mouse trap, but a punch trap. Set back a little bit, invited him in, bang. Committing to the body work now, he lands the right hand. Oh. 
Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. Cross really in position to control things in this fight. If he can do what he did just there, and that's land a good, solid jab. All right, Teddy, let me put you back in your old job here. You're going to be trainer here. Now, we're just coming off of a round there. We're clearly, I think he won the round, but it's a close, competitive fight that your guys probably win. Yeah, I know what not to tell him. I'm not telling him he's winning. That's what I'm not telling him. I want to make sure that he keeps his edge. You know, he stays smart and everything, but the only reason that I think he's up is because he's keeping the punch output, he's staying sharp defensively. You know, he's still attacking in the spots that he should attack. I want to keep it that way. Great classic combination. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Good flush shot upstairs. Frost throwing a lot of punches right here, but not a lot of them are landing. And that can be very discouraging. Ed. Goes up top again. Isaac Frost movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. That is an ice cold right hand by Isaac Frost. Oh, that's a big shot to the head. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. And this round comes to an end. Start of round number eight here. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard. As you can see, Isaac Frost is up on Teddy's scorecard. He's been applying a good amount of pressure, and many times, you get a close competitive fight like this, you're always going to give the lean to the guy who's working more. Yeah, he's keeping him defensive. You know, his offense is also working as his defense because, yeah, we're saying that he's ahead because he's working more, as you just said, and you said properly, but you know, the guy ain't working. There's a reason why. Because this guy's working more. He's keeping him defensive, my dude. Tyson's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Mike Tyson digs deep with a big uppercut. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Great pace to this fight, Teddy. These guys are not coming out of fifth gear. Nobody's slowing down. No, they're fighting a sixth, seventh, and eighth gear. He missed with that head shot. Good return fire that time. He's committed to the combination punching down. It's working out well up top. Isaac Frost knows how to do everything in the ring. But throwing a right hand like that, that's one of his specialties. Good shot, now he gives a left. Good counter-punching there with the overhand right. Tyson's in bad shape. And there's the bell. Can you believe that? He was saved by the bell. Teddy, you've been in a spot like this before as a trainer. Right now, you know what? What do you spend time on? You want to spend time on telling him why he got in that spot, why he got hit. But first, you got to make sure he revives. You got to get him clear minded. You got to get his senses back first. Yeah, give him worse. A 
A well-timed right hand by Mike Tyson. Frost putting forth a great combination there. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Tyson showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. An accurate left by Mike Tyson. Scored well up top. Good job with another left hand. You see he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. over the fight is over mike tyson's hand to be raised in victory he scores the knockout here tonight ladies and gentlemen by way of knockouts the beauty of this game it doesn't matter how much you're losing by you can always pull it out such is the case teddy he was down on your scorecard